50 does interview. In said interview, he said Shadi and Takashi's baby mama actually did have a relationship. I don't know. I don't know if he's right about this, but he's saying the streets is talking. Me and the notification gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, party people? I so. Yeah. So, apparently, 50 Cent has decided that he was going to come out and um, he was on, I believe, 105. He was on, not Hot 97, he was on Power 105.1. And he was doing an interview. And during this interview, yo, check this out. Why don't I just let you hear the part of the interview that I'm speaking on? And then we'll be right back. I'm like, yo, like, I would get the, the shy was messing with the baby mama or different things was happening. And I'm going, damn, why are you doing all this? I just told him nothing. You know what I mean? Not mm -hmm. the, it's a little weird. Like, it's when you're in the middle of the, when you're trying to be in the middle of the street or the middle of the neighborhood and the success is happening like that, there's, it's his baby mother is Shaniqua. That's the first wave of that. That's not even a surprise to me that she would do that. You see what I'm saying? Like it's like I've seen this before. Right. So that's your experience. Yeah. Uh -huh. Like I saw that completely. Like she's she doesn't care about what what goes on with him. Like that's it's already over. It's like if you're not on, she had those expectations. She had uh, an entitlement to that. That this because she was there before it worked and. Looked at you like, oh, so you're not listening, so you know what? Yeah. Forget you, period. Do you All right, so y'all just heard 50. You can say what you want. All right, so basically, you can say what you want about what I say. All right, I, I do not personally know uh, Takashi. I've never spoken to Takashi personally. Um, I've never spoken to Shadi personally. I don't know them. I've spoken to um, Sarah Molina personally. Not about this topic, though. I mean, um, she denied it. I asked her. Uh, she denied it. I don't really have no reason to believe um, in the conversation that me and her had that she was lying to me. So I'm I'm going to I'm gonna let y'all know. She denied it. I asked her. I spoke to her, and I asked her. She denied it. All right, so, but this is the point that I want to make. There's a point where... When you have a person like me who don't really know all the parties, you can say, oh, he, he doesn't know what he's talking about. When you have a different vlogger or, or reporter or whatever the case might be, or even a journalist or whatever the case might be, and they report on whatever the topic might be, and then you can say, well, they don't know what they're talking about. They don't know these parties particularly. But 50 Cent knows them and been around everybody. And when 50 Cent is basically saying that it kind of the situation in itself kind of reminds him of the situation that he had with his first baby mama when he was first getting into the game, which now, as we all know, he has that legendarily, you know, uh, bad relationship with his son. Um, I think that kind of makes some weight and some it gives some some credence to the, the assumptions that were being made that. That um, Takashi's baby mama and Shadi might have had a relationship. Now, real quick, because this isn't nothing that we're going to hold too much for. This is just something that I saw and I thought it was interesting. Um, real quick, something else I want to say. At some point, Takashi 69 is going to come out of jail. At some point, after Takashi 69 comes out of jail, the talk is going to come up of this particular topic. At some point, he's going to have to explain why he thinks that this is a real thing. Besides the fact that the streets is talking about it Because to be honest with you When Takashi brought it up He didn't say nothing about the streets He said something about I think the FBI letting him hear wiretap Or something along those lines Takashi 69 didn't say Yo look, blase blah happened The streets He didn't say that So if 50 is saying that he heard it from the streets somewhere That's the talk on the street and I'm telling you personally, because I personally know people from that area, that is actually the talk on the street. 
50 is not lying <laughs> okay but i'm pretty sure 50 know people i don't know so <laughs> 50 is not lying that is literally the talk on the street in that area this is not something like when, when people the majority of the people saying this online live in that area that's the best way i could put it i've come across quite a few people from that area that says nah they had something going on all right so neither here nor there i don't really care about that i just thought it was funny or should i say i just thought it was um a story that 50 cent brought this up and and not for nothing um punch just started talking about um takashi 69 just recently and punch said that that's 100 percent not true that um shoddy and sarah had a relationship so this is my point and i'm gonna explain to you why i kind of lean towards believing 50 cent way more than i lean towards believing punch um 50 cent isn't saying that he knows this to be a fact 50 Cent is just saying that this is something that he's heard. And it kind of looks like that might be a possibility. So 50 Cent is talking from a spot of intelligence. Punch is saying that basically it's a fact and it never happened. That is not something that Punch can know. He can't know that. Punch has not been with Takashi 69's baby mama and shoddy at the same time 100 percent of the time that they were together so there's no way for him to know that he can say that he doesn't feel like that happened he could say like well i've seen their relationship that kind of just sounds crazy to me i i need more he could say something along those lines but he cannot say that 100 percent unequivocally without a shadow of a doubt he is sure that this did not happen now i'm not trying to knock punch i don't know the dude um people keep accusing him of clout chasing <laughs> i think i might have been one of those people before but all i'm saying is this um trife drew just brought up a great point trife drew just spoke on punch um recently uh because punch said something that he tribe drew is like you don't know what you're talking about and basically what punch what tribe drew said part of me is that punch is still being labeled as six nines dj how are you gonna be going around bashing somebody all day every day every opportunity you get to talk you know six nine this this situation's over a year old you're not a journalist you're not a vlogger you're not you you tried to pretend to be one for a while you have a pretty nice following i don't know why you stopped i guess the grind was too much for you doing something like this every single day just doesn't fit into your lifestyle that's what i'm saying no disrespect that's cool but the point in which i'm trying to make is you don't talk about celebrities for a living you don't talk about people of interest for a living you don't talk you that's not your job you're a dj so trife drew was basically saying why does he keep going around talking about takashi and i have to agree with trife drew 100 you don't like takashi you dislike him this isn't your job so why do you keep talking about him you can literally just go do something else go book a gig you're a dj aren't you fighting with freaking um funk master flex for for the dj of new i don't know what the fuck y'all fighting about to be honest with you but the point in which i was making try drew made a good point and now that lends to the idea of he's saying that nothing happened between those two i'm not saying that he's wrong but what i'm saying is that he can't know that to be an absolute when 50 cent talks about it all 50 cent is saying well look i've been in a certain situation where things like that happen where, where i've been in a certain situation where i was with a woman and we came in the game together so since we came when, when we was together i came in the game so she felt like i had an obligation to be with her she felt like i had an obligation to do things for her this is basically what 50 cent is saying 50 cent didn't feel like he had an obligation to do any of these things because in all honesty really does he you know, I understand the whole idea of, you know, you was shoot, you was in the gym, you know, when I was shooting in, when I was shooting, you was with me when I was in the gym shooting. I understand that that concept. But at the end of the day, when you turn on somebody that you was coming up with, you can't then now say that I came up with you. That's my point. And um 
Takashi Six Nine's baby. I'm not saying her name because I get my video gets demonetized all the time whenever I say her name. So please, this is no disrespect to her. I don't have no problems with her. But when um they go and they say that she had a relationship with Shadi, and Fifty Cent is talking about it from a place of of of, of intelligence, in my opinion, because there's no way he can actually know for sure that she didn't. And in all honesty, the way that she's just absolutely bashing Takashi and bigging up Shadi every five seconds, it seems like she did. So when 50 Cent is saying the streets is talking and he heard this on the street and he heard that on the street, I've lived in a neighborhood with people who was fucking each other before, part of my language, and tried to keep it on the low. You can't keep shit like that on the low. People in your neighborhood know what's going on, especially if you married to somebody else. Anyway, let me know what y'all guys think. Do y'all think 50 was out of line for even bringing this up? This is not an indictment of of, of um, Takashi's baby mama. I'm not personally saying that she did do it. I don't know if she did. I don't know if she didn't. I do know that at some point or another, when Takashi 69 gets out of jail, when Danny Hernandez gets out of jail and he addresses this, I'm assuming he's going to come with some kind of proof. I'm assuming he's going to come with some kind of proof. I'm assuming he's going to come with something more than I think. And right now, all, all um, Punch has, as far as this this um, subject matter is concerned, is I think. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bums. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.